Hey, what's up guys? B here, and I'm making a video on building expansions. So you've seen these around the map, probably if you're in an older realm. If you're in a new realm, eventually you'll see these. You can click a tile anywhere, click build, to see a list of all the, uh, of all the building expansions. And there's three different kinds of blueprints to build these buildings. The commander, blacksmith, all the wells, uh, guardian enclave, district, they all require the uh, just the normal building expansion blueprints. Let's see if I said that right. Empire expansion blueprints. That's what they require. Then there's this Royal Empire expansion blueprint that you need on the uh, you need that on the jewel mine. You need that on the Mughal village, and also you need that on uh, the other one, the uh, military command outpost. So you build these buildings, they, each one will give you march size increase. Uh, certain buildings are different depending on how much it costs to make the building. You get a march size increase, either one or 2,000. Uh, and then the wonder, if you buy 10 packs for the wonder blueprints, you can, uh, you can build a wonder and that will give you, I think, 15,000 march size. Oh wait, 300k march size max. But I want to say the first building is only 15. So, uh, but if you level up that building, eventually you can get 300k. <laughs> Uh, so each building they'll give you march size and they'll also give you a special boost and if you uh, attack the empire if you attack these not an empires but if you attack the expansions they also produce another material that you can attack and loot so uh, uh, commander, ca ca commander academy produces commanders commander chess uh, blacksmith produces crafting materials so you'll get anything from from uh, Undertaker materials to Sentinel materials to uh, even newer stuff, Guardian materials. That's in the blacksmith. These wells produce essences for the Elemancy Hall to imbue your troops with essence and, and upgrade your troops. But you have to have the Elemancy Hall to use that. You do get the boost, the attack boost, armor boost, piercing boost, and HP boost. They're all good boosts. So you can make a case for these buildings even if you're not using the, the essences. Guardian Enclave is probably one I would avoid. It just produces the Guardian Shields. So unless you have a ton of Mercenary Rations uh, and Mercenary Pits, I would avoid this one. Uh, but if you have a bunch of Guardians, you get the Guardian Armor. And if you have Mercenary Rations, you can produce Guardians with the Shields. So it's okay for some people. Uh, District produces Blueprints, Tomes, and that kind of stuff, and also Gathering Speed. and so you get ascension chests basically, and these ascension chests they give you T3 resources. At least for me, they gave me T3 resources, and and it was like 100k uh, marble, you know, corn, that kind of thing per chest, 100,000. So if you're curious about that, that's what I was getting there. Jewel mine produces gems, and Mughal village produces Mughal credits, and military command outpost produces uh, uh, the level seven troop materials. So out of all these buildings, my favorite, I like the Commander Academy because you get a 100% attack bonus if your troops are with the Commander. So that right there is pretty awesome, 100% attack bonus. Plus you get, uh, I don't know exactly how many Commanders every day, but you get a decent amount of Commanders every day if you're looting the Empire. Uh, Blacksmith is a good one too. Uh, my favorite of these, the Mughal Village, don't get it unless you have the Moogle Market unlocked. But if you have the Moogle Market unlocked, you can make a case that this is the best building. And the Jewel Mine's okay. I was told you can get rainbow gems from it, but I've been farming it for a couple days. I haven't seen a rainbow gem yet. It's mostly level 2 gems per uh, mine chest. So you might get one or two uh, level 2 gems per mine chest. Some level 3 gems. And you get paragons in there too. So it's not, it's not the worst building. Uh, gets kind of costly to upgrade though after a while. Now, I can show you guys how much it produces every hour, but I've been thinking about this. I'm not 100% sure. I'm in, or so right now, guys, I'm in the realm of super champions. So I'm getting 500% bonus to the production. So I don't know if that's factored in or not right now. I, for the life of me, I've been trying to figure it out. I can't remember. So it might be five times. Worst case scenario is it's five times worse than this. So it might be five times worse. Just just know ahead of time it might be uh, 
I don't know if they factor it in here or not on the realm of super champions. So, yeah, but pretty good March size, pretty good, uh, you know, pretty good other boosts here too. If you want trade capacity, Mooka Village is pretty sweet. Uh, again, I think the Mooka Village might be one of the better expansions, assuming you have this building unlocked. Because they've been putting some really good stuff in here. Um, I've seen teleports for 1500. I've seen, uh, I mean, look at, you can get Undertaker Chest, a legendary Undertaker Chest for 500. You can get, uh, I mean, look at this, look at this, guys. So that Light Forge face guard, how many, how many Guild Hall rounds does it take to get a legendary Light Forge face guard? You can get that in a couple of days, like a week. A week at, it's probably the worst case scenario. Let's say, let's just say it takes 10 days of farming that Moogle village. Let's just say it takes 10 days. That's like the worst case scenario. That's if you're being lazy and you only attack it a couple times a day. Uh, you can get one of these within 10, 15 days, like easy. Two weeks to get a legendary Light Forge face card. Not bad. Uh, teleports are 1,500. I've seen unlocks for the Monster Farm, for the Oracle Temple for um, um, the Order of Heroes, all kinds of unlock, building unlocks. So Mythic Forge, I've seen building blueprints for Monster Farm. I've seen building blueprints for the Oracle Temple, uh, building blueprints for the Mercenary Fighting Pits. I've seen a lot of Guardian materials. So the Guardian chest plate, Guardian face mask, Guardian boots, all kinds of stuff in that Mughal village. So take that with a grain of salt. It's not too bad. <laughs> Uh, so you attack these. You have to attack these to collect the materials it produces, and so click collect, send send your troops, and collect it. I want to say once it once you can produce. It's um, so like here if you attack it, you can collect one jewel mine for me right now. Uh, you know you let it produce up some, collect it. I would collect it as frequently as you can because there's this other thing where you can steal other people's, and uh, if I can find. So just for the sake of um, of doing this, guys, if we click here, he has 395 Moogle market credits. Now, if you want to unlock the attack, which I just did today, what happens is you send your troops there, and if you get there before anybody else does, I'll get 10% of 396. So that will be 39 or 40 credits. So you only get 10% of what's in there. So if you're seeing like like for instance, like let's look at this one. This is a blacksmith. There's only two chests in there. If you attack it, you're not going to get anything. You're just preventing him from getting his two chests. So, <laughs> so I don't recommend attacking, guys. I really don't. Um, now, it's a viable strategy if you want to attack the the Mughal villages. Those are worth attacking, and also the uh, ice wells and and all the wells are worth attacking. And some of these, like. You know, if you let them build up, here, if I attack this, you'll get 18 Moogle credits. Now, 18 is a small number, but if you're doing that, you're stealing everybody's. If you're being that punk that's stealing everybody's, you can get a lot of Moogle credits. And what one guy was doing, and it turns out, at least as of a little bit ago, I've probably still the case, you can attack other people's expansions while you're bubbled. So you can be completely safe and go steal other people's stuff, and they can't do anything to you. There's one guy in our realm who was doing that, just talking trash in realm chat, stealing everybody's expansions. It was super frustrating, so uh, <laughs> people are going to want to zero you if you do that a lot, guys. So just be forewarned that uh, you know people don't like you stealing their expansions. But you can, and you can do it bubble. So something, guys. I take, that, take with that what you will. Um, Another thing that's worth knowing, guys, is uh, you, there, you can add Empire expansions and teleport Empires. So if you want to teleport it, you just click on the one you want to teleport and then select. You can also view your expansions by clicking that, too. And uh, what else? Oh, one thing I learned the hard way, guys, is don't, don't deconstruct them <laughs> unless you're willing to lose what you invested as far as... Um, expansion blueprints into these because when you deconstruct them, you don't. At least I did not get my my blueprints back. They were just gone. They vanished. So the only reason you'd want to deconstruct one is you, you're limited on how many you can build. 
right? You can only build so many based on your Citadel level. So I think it's one at 30. Uh, you can build another one at Citadel 40. You can build another one at Citadel 50. And then you can also buy them in packs. So I've seen like plus one expansion, what's it, expansion slot or something like that. I've seen packs with that. So that's how you can, uh, you know, basically your Citadel level is going to be your limiting factor for how many you can build, unless you're buying the uh, expansion slots. So, yeah, I, I can build four. So that's one at 30, one at 40, one at 50, plus the plus one slot. So that's why I can build four of them. Uh, so, yeah, don't deconstruct them or deconstruct them at your peril <laughs> because the prints go away, guys. I learned that the hard way. Uh, so what else? What else about these things? Uh, my favorites my favorites are still... And I think this is actually some of the better packs to get. I've seen packs that come with 500 expansion Empire Expansion Blueprints. And, you know, that's a pretty good pack. So, <laughs> uh, like, I would wait for the 500 or more. But I think that's about as good as you're going to do in any pack. Like, that's a good pack. Because with 500, you could build, you could build an Ice Well... You, you could build three expansions for that. Ice Wells are 120. Uh, five, you know, all the wells are 120. Commander Academy is 80 to build. So is the Blacksmith. And I think the uh, District is 80 as well. So 80, 80, that'd be 160 plus 120. That's two, uh, 280 for those three. So you might even be able, if you have the 500 pack, you might even be able to build three and then upgrade one. Now, that's three if you're Citadel 50. If you're Citadel 40, you can only build two. If you're Citadel 30, you can only build one. So there's that. <laughs> I didn't realize that too, and I made the mistake of building. Uh, you know, I built one that I wouldn't have built. I would have built a well if I knew that ahead of time, but I didn't. I didn't know you were limited. So there's that, guys. Uh, I think I pretty much mentioned everything I want to say. You can. So the big points. You can, uh, if you get the unlock attack empire expansions, you only get 10%. Uh, you have to make sure you loot these because they stop producing at the capacity. So you have to collect them. Uh, and collect them regularly. Collect them as soon as you can is what I would do. Uh, other people can attack them. You can put on expansion barriers, but... Um, you know, you have to get, you have to have the expansion barriers, so... I would recommend only using them when you really need them. Uh, so, like for instance, I'm in the realm of super champions, so we're getting plus 500 um, production from our expansions here. So that's why I have them bubbled up right now because I want to get the most from what they're producing. So, yeah, I think that pretty much covers up everything I'm, I I want to talk about on expansions. If you guys have any questions, leave a leave a comment. And I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you guys are taking it easy, having a great day. And I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.